is how you make a double donut chart in Excel. Y'all ask me about these all the time. I just want to show you the process. Not as hard as you might think. Super useful little trick to know how to do. Here's how you do it. You're going to want data that has two separate columns, two different sets of values, and they got to be across the same category. In this case, we've got these across consumer, corporate, and home office, but it doesn't matter. Any of the same categories will work. We're just going to highlight our entire table, head over to the insert tab, click donut, and you got yourself a double donut. But what if you want your double donut to look cool like the one I showed you? I'm going to show you how you format this thing to make it look great. So first thing I'm doing, I'm dropping my labels to the bottom. You just do that over here in the formatting pane. I'm removing the background and, and the fill slash outline so that we just have a nice chart with no background. Under the insert tab, I'm going to drop in a rounded rectangle for my background and I'm going to give it a gradient fill. This is just a green to a slightly different green. Maybe for fun, we'll give this thing a little bit of a drop shadow too, just for kicks. Now I'm going to go back to my chart, right click it and hit bring to front just so that it's on top of that shape. Drag it into place and just get it the right size. And now it's just a matter of choosing all the colors that you want. In this case, I've just clicked into each series and made it a different shade of green. And in this case, the outer ring, I've clicked into these and just made them like 60% transparent so that there's a little contrast between the inside and outside. Then I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to change my donut hole size to be a little smaller because I want my rings a little bigger. And that looks pretty good. Now, to get the cool looking text we saw before, I'm literally just going to drop in text boxes. We're going insert tab, text box, click and drag to drop it in. And then obviously we need to take out the background color here and the outline and we just type in our text. Don't be afraid to use different font sizes and font colors just like you would in PowerPoint. And now if we want to have the metrics in the middle of the donut chart, we can just copy paste this over and up in the formula bar, I'm just going to hit equals. I'm going to click on the value I want, hit enter. Uh, and after you do this, you're going to have to reformat your text. I know it's a little frustrating, but it's just part of how this works. I'm going to make this text white and bold and a little bit bigger. I'm going to do the same thing with the other metrics too. Maybe we'll insert a little line to separate these as well. And I'm just going to make that line white and then make it like really transparent. And just get our spacing all adjusted and make it look nice. But that's what we do here. And voila, here's our double donut. As we filter all our data, the chart and the numbers inside of it update according to whatever filter we select. It's definitely got some wow factor. Obviously, you'd want to label this a little better so people know what they're reading. But that's the basics. Hope that helps everyone.